It's the lie that has spread straight from election 2020 to the midterms a few short weeks away. The candidates who support former President Trump's false claim that he won the election. They won't say that Joe Biden was fairly elected, afraid to offend parts of Trump's most loyal base. And some of those election deniers will be on your ballot. On the campaign trail, Virginia's Congressional District 2 candidate Jen Kiggins walks a tight line. Joe Biden is the president. He's destroying the country. Acknowledging that Joe Biden is president, but not saying he was fairly elected after being asked several times. She feels the need to appease kind of a Trumpian uh, type voter who believes that the election was fraudulent. So she doesn't want to say it wasn't, uh, but she also doesn't want to outright say that it was interfered with. At least 300 candidates nationwide have been identified as election deniers, with several in Virginia, according to the Washington Post. In Arizona, gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake proudly calls 2020 a fraud. And today, Governor Youngkin campaigns by her side. By campaigning for someone that extreme, um, certainly he's adding credibility to her uh, tactics. And in the process, CNU's Wasson Center's research director says it hurts democracy. It harms our trust. It harms our acceptance of elections. As denial does appease some voters. I did not believe in that election at all. Okay. So I believe that, you know, when somebody says that, that's a true statement. It turns others away. I feel like it could happen to like any one of them, you know, and they could say that, hey, you didn't win it fairly. And Giggins, who's a Republican, is running against Democrat incumbent Elaine Luria, also listed as an election denier, is First District Representative Rob Whitman, who voted against certifying Pennsylvania's presidential election results.